Hello, hello. I am Lee Fletcher from Regain Hearing. And I'm Matthew Pearson from Zone 1 Hearing. Today, we're going to be reviewing the ReSound Quattro Nines. Mm. Nines. Nines, yeah. Now, this is lovely. It really is. This is the best packaging, hands down. Yep. No any doubt. manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just the packaging, but go on, do the flappy thing. Oh, listen, listen to this. This is nice. Oh, oh. how nice is that? So we, like, we like that. Yeah, we like yeah. that. So let's open it up. Okay. Now, these are the rechargeable versions. Lithium yeah. iron rechargeable. These are awesome. So this is, it's sort of weighty. It feels like good quality. And this is where your hearing aids will live. Um, so um, you've got a space for the left and a space for the right. What happens when you put them in the charger? You'd have that obviously plugged into the mains and then it will charge up the hearing aids, but also the cell within the charger. So I actually did a, an online class with ReSound a few months back, and what they were talking about was purely the battery. Now you might think, how do you spend an hour talking about the battery? And actually- This is what we do with our lives. I know. Rechargeability is such a big thing because there have been systems that have come out in the past and recently that haven't been quite up to scratch. So they've really been put through their paces. So I'll give you one example. One gentleman in the States was very, very skeptical about being a power user, so using it all day and doing a lot of streaming. So what he did was wore them 13 hours a day on average and streamed for I think three or four hours a day. What he also did to be quite cheeky was to pull the mains plug out and just use what was left inside the charging unit. He managed to run them for six days before he needed to plug them back in. So really, 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 you do get all day use without any fear of them running down. To the point where even after four years, it's estimated that they'll come down to 80% of their current sort of power level. So even then you're gonna get 24 hours a day without streaming. It's like the most recent lithium ion technology you can get, yeah. which doesn't sound like much, but if you're wearing hearing aids every day, yeah. you want them to two work. years, three years, four years, you want them to carry on working and still work and still have all your aftercare taken mm. care of, but you don't want to be sending them back yeah. having problems that way. Exactly. So the hearing aids themselves, some people say they've got a fairly masculine sort of style. So I would say, if you look at them, they're fairly angular, fairly aggressive looking, closer. and um, remind me of a lot of the sort of newer Toyotas. They're, they're, they've kind of gone out on a little bit of a limb, look different. Who has them. a bright blue hearing aid? What manufacturer does that? No, actually I'm thinking back to bright blue hearing aids are fitted, Starkey Pediatric range, and Resound. And so, yeah, it's yeah. hard to get. Yeah. So not many people would want one, but if you are yeah. that way inclined and you quite like the idea of having something bright, you go, oh, I've got a hearing loss and I don't care. Yeah. You Which would happens. wear that. Which does you, happen. You, so we couldn't order two blue ones. But what I like mm. again about Resound styling is the fact that you can have your glossy, shiny, um, out there looking hearing aid or you can have your matte brown, boring-ish one, but it blends in. Conservative, goes there's, in with the hair tones. There's no sheen on that. No. Every other manufacturer, pretty much, has got a sheen. So even if it's a brown one, it's got this, like, the light catches it, and you go, oh, I can see, I can see. This, it just absorbs the light. So yeah. that is actually... Very discreet. That is discreet, and we like discreet for yeah. fairly obvious reasons. Even though it's not the smallest hearing aid, it blends in. And what this does, mm. What this is capable of is extremely impressive. Yeah. Over to you. Okay. So what I like about it is the app gives a lot of freedom to the end user. So when I've used them um, to sort of sample the hearing aids, I've been able to go to the local coffee shop in Marleybone that I go to near my office and been able to create a program for Soli, which is the particular cafe where I can direct in the microphones, increase the noise reduction, give some extra high frequency gain, then save that and create that as an individual program. So you've got a lot more freedom than you do with certain other apps. So you can also connect to a range of great accessories. So there is what was described as um, by a gent called 
Dr. Cliff in the States, the Swiss Army knife. We like Dr. Cliff. Yeah, he's a good guy. Remote microphones. So with this remote microphone, you can access the loop in a theater. So you clip it on, press the button, and it's as if the actors have come down off the stage and spoken straight to hearing aid. So if that's, that's for the loop lady in America. She knows who she is. Um, second thing you can do, if you're in a very challenging and noisy environment, you can sim simply take the mic and clip it onto your sort of speaking partner, if you like, and hear them up to quite a distance, several meters in fact, even in that challenging environment, and it beams the sound straight into the hearing aids. And then, for example, I had a chat recently in meetings around a long boardroom table, you can simply place the microphone further down the table, and that allows you to extend the listening range of the hearing aids. So very flexible hearing aids, usual things like TV streamers. One patient recently sent me a message and she said, Every time I listen to the, the TV through my hearing aids, it sounds like I'm at the cinema. Absolutely loves it. So, you know, those are just a few of the features. And something that isn't true with every new hearing aid, they actually do have a new chip inside delivering 100% uh, more processing power than the predecessor. The last which was, one was good. Which was good. Yeah. I really, really liked it. This is still twice available. The power. Twice the power. Yeah. I want to talk and more efficient. About, I want to talk about Go for it. how good mm. they are us to work with. Mm. What adjustments and things? Yeah. yeah. This is stunning. So mm. again, Resound think a little differently, think out the box. A few manufacturers have got their quirky things and their amazing unique selling points. Mm. Um, Resound have got something really intriguing. Mm. So you might not necessarily get the best experience the very first day or week, or maybe a couple of weeks, when mm. you wear them. Now, what I like about this is we can analyze every detail on these. So if somebody comes back and says they're good, but mm. if there's any issue, we can go into the software and go to the most minute detail. Mm. For example, you could be in a small group listening to somebody with a loud voice and you don't like the people with loud voices. There might be a screaming child over there that annoys people, mm. so annoys everyone. So I can turn down a slider that says loud voice in noise mm. and you can pull that voice down mm. in quiet you don't have to so no. in a quiet environment you can keep that loud person if, if you want to or yeah. a quiet spoken person so if your partner mm. speaks quite quietly and you might sometimes struggle to hear them we can pick a slider on mm. the computer mm. because turn up quiet speaking people mm. turn up quiet voices just the quiet ones we can go into immense detail with different types of noise and what we want to turn up or down but all these sliders that appear mm. so if someone says I'm not getting on that well because I have a solution mm. I'm not just saying oh, just you'll get used to it or yeah. I'll, I'll see what I turn that up a bit or yeah. um, maybe what the, the treble up a bit this goes into more forensic. incredible detail mm. some audiologists don't like that mm. it yeah. can turn them off of this product. I ju I'm just a But geek. if you invest the time to learn about it, and then we've also got, um, I'm trying to remember what we were gonna say, there is the remote programming feature. Uh -huh. So if somebody sends you a message saying, hey Matthew, not getting on that well in such and such an environment, you can actually send the upgrade to their iPhone and they can receive that and put it into the hearing aid Hey, oh yeah, I solved it. That's great. Thanks very much. So you, they don't necessarily need to come back to your office. Now these not many are, manufacturers do that. Just one other. Yeah. Really. So these are actually an MFI product, so made for iPhone, but they're also also going to be the first MFA product made for Android. So they're actually working with Google at the solution. So it's not ready yet, is it? It's not ready yet, but we're thinking sometime next year there'll be a firmware upgrade. So it's not that you've got to buy another version. If you've got the existing version that's out right now and you're an Android user, you'll be able to get the firmware update. So you'll be able to enjoy the same benefits that Apple users do, which is to be able to take a call and it streams the sound directly to the hearing aids. So just press answer and you hear it beautifully clearly. Yeah. In fact, I was with somebody who was wearing some mm. in a pub a mm. few months ago. They had a phone call. Mm. I couldn't believe they, could, they could actually hear. hear. I wouldn't have been able to hear. Not so a if chance. I'd have taken a phone call, I'd been chatting away, yeah. no, I'd be like this and I'd have gone out of the pub. They yeah. were in the pub almost shoving off that mm. they could hear. Yeah. And something which we've not mentioned, which might not sound that important, but if you're a music lover, and a lot of hearing impaired people are, these are phenomenal for music quality. Yeah, that is good. So I, I've had a, one of my testing patients, and he, he tests all the different hearing aids. He's come back and said, 
up to now, these are the best for music streaming. And he really puts them through his pace, through the paces, lots of different musical genres, tries lots of different domes, absolutely raves about quality. I have quality. musicians that have bought hearing aids from me before mm. where I've had to turn off every feature mm. and they've had to have a custom program with a remote controller or a button they have to press mm. when they're in that environment where they're playing their violin or piano. It's a horrible sound sometimes because mm. hearing aids are designed to help speech. speech. It's all about speech. So when you get music, sometimes they're not as good. Resound, those products, those mm. quattros, will recognize that there's music. They'll mm. turn off the features that you don't want and mm. they'll enhance some like the bass areas and make it warm sound. Mm. It is lovely if you like music and if you're a musician, yeah. it's probably the best product out there for that. Very wide frequency response mm. and very high from very, very soft sounds to very loud without them clipping, the distorting. Range the range is great, yeah. So yeah, really, really not that much to say that's a negative about them apart from I'm an Android user, be nice to have these features now, but we know they are working on that solution. And I suppose they're slightly bigger than some of the other here in Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, but not the with, size. Not without the functions though. So uh, any, I anything- I think if it was me, I'd be like, well, it's such a good product. Yeah. If it's a little bit bigger than another one- Yeah, you take that on the chin. Yeah, I'll just wear them anyway. Yeah. And I've, I've had nobody reject them because of the cosmetics because they are such a good aid, had no returns and some great they testimonials. They haven't been that long. They haven't, but I got them a few months early. Right. So I had some quite good experience with them. So yeah, really, really privileged to have that. So that was excellent. I think that wraps it up. I think it does. Yeah, so if you've enjoyed this video and our ramblings about hearing aids and you can tell we're geeks and we're really into this, we love it, we live, eat, breathe and it's whatever else hearing aids. But it's but it great. Know. If you yeah. get a product that works, yeah. and someone comes in and you're like, oh, I wonder how they've been getting on. They go, this has been brilliant. They we're go, confident. Oh. We're confident and then with this. It makes our yeah. jobs worthwhile. Yeah. So we can feel good about what we're doing. And these exactly. products do that. Indeed. So do, do the right thing. Remember to like. Feel free to comment if you like, um, subscribe to the channel and sign on for notifications so you can hear about when our next instalment will be coming to you. I'm Lee Fletcher from Regain Hearing. I'm Matthew Pearson from Zone One Hearing. Thank you very much. Thanks for viewing. Thanks. Bye-bye.